Hi guys, it's Juanita from MyPinkRoom.com with part two of suitcase type paper bag album that I made for um, my dad. Part one had the first six pages and um, I'm going to start on page seven and part two contains the last six um, six pages. So this one is Andrew, which is my son. Um, he's the oldest uh, grandchild, so he has a little bit more pictures than than my little nephews, who are like nine and ten. Um, my son just graduated, so again, he has um, a lot more pictures. Um, this was taken from, I believe, the Christmas cards cartridge. I just blew it up on the gypsy, embossed it with some gold, and then just kind of distressed it. Uh, use some um, Tim Holtz, I think the little plates here, and then uh, Lost and Found Letters, or I think it was Lost and Found Letters, I just cut out the letters Andrew and used some glassy accents to um, adhere them to the back of it. And then just some eyelets and just some um, beading stuff to, um, to hold it on there. Now again, these pockets that I'm going to show you in here were inspired by Paper Phenomenon. She does have a tutorial of how to make those, so I'll go over those um, just right now. So how my son's was, was this is his page, and um, I just opened it up and made these little pockets from the, um, the little mini flaps of the um, paper bag. That's where that was taken from. Um, for this page, um, one thing that I did want to note were these little corner pieces were um, the photo corners. They usually come in black and in white. And these were the white ones that I distressed with Tim Holtz's um, distressed inks. This was, I believe, vintage photo. And what I did was ink that up and then put some crackle over, um, over it and then um, use it as a photo corner. So I did it with a bunch of different colors of his and the effect, whether it's glassy accents or crackle, um, it was a great, cheap, inexpensive way for an added, um, just an added more touch of an embellishment for your photos. So again, real cute, um, nice technique, loved it, and really inexpensive. Now this is a pocket that I was talking to you about that um, was inspired by Paper Phenomenon. Whoops, I pulled out the tags. Let me just set those down. It's, um, again, her measurements are different from mine, but what was, um, the idea here was that there's three pockets for three different size tags. Now, the first one is a full length of the tank. Again, my tags are um, double-sided to fit the amount of pictures that I wanted um, to fit in this album. Here's the middle tag, again, double-sided on all these. And the paper, this specific paper line was um, from the DCWV pack on Tattered Times. So um, she does have a tutorial, Paper Phenom, she does have a tutorial out on that one. Again, my measurements are different. And then, um, again, DCWV Tattered Times paper, and then one of my um, son's picture that I wanted to highlight. And then this just kind of goes into the little pocket like this. I used a hinge, just a regular Home Depot hinge, to make it kind of swivel back and forth. So I thought that was cute. And this is still inside of my son's books. It's just multi-paged here. Um, again, the little pocket, I just added um, some ribbon and then a couple more tags that I really kind of wanted to add, you know, of him. And those just kind of slide through there. And this is, uh, I think we're on page four of still the inside of my stunts. And this was another just duplicate po pocket of paper phenomenon. Um, this one is the same pack, uh, Tatter Times DC WV. It's just the brown uh, paper that I ended up using for this one. The other one was more like a bluish. Um, let me go ahead and talk about this page. This is, this is the back page of, of it, um, my son's page. And uh, Tattered Times, again, this is the black photo corner that I just glossed it up. And again, highlighted one of his pictures that I liked of him. And then with here, I just cut the clock out, added Tim Holtz right there, and then it serves as a 
pocket for this second paper phenomenon inspired um, picture. This is pretty much identical other than just um, the paper but it still holds the two, four, six, seven, eight pictures on all these here, eight pictures, and then one more on the back. And then these are, this is my dad, my son's graduation, and then these are my two nephews again. So um, again, I had 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pictures I fit in just this page alone. And that was for my son. Okay, page seven is mine. And what I used here was um, Tim Holtz's little uh, two ring binder base. Um, it was a smaller of the two that come in the pack. And I just uh, used the little brads to uh, adhere it to the paper. And mine is entitled My Daughter, the Traveler, just because um, I'm trying, you know, I'm a little girly, so I have the bling right here, but then I, I love to travel. I mean, that's just one thing that um, is important to me. It's just I love traveling. I just have so much fun. So all I did here was, again, it's just um, a book-type thing using the, um, the smaller um, ring binder. And then these are just all my um, favorite pictures of my travels. I think one thing I do want to show you guys... Oh. Uh, destinations uh, cartridge this is what I cut out this is um I'm not sure what page is on but I loved it I think I'm going to use these from now on with my travels as just titling like the page but this is a Seattle one that I did and then I have I have a Grand Canyon now I didn't do anything to this one whatsoever it's just plain card stock this one's a little bit um textured but I didn't ink it or you know or anything um I just forgot to but it still came out too cute again destinations cartridge and um like yeah and then just more pictures so that was my page which was six seven eight this one is for my brother uh, my son and what I used here was um the glassine tags I ended up um just cutting the base down to separate the two pieces and I came up with the pages so you know there's um, I think this was one piece and then for this double this is one tag itself and all I did was just cut the edges off to make this cute little um, book and I think I ended up using only like five tags for um, my brother's pages and what I did to the to each of them was use uh, Tim Holtz's edge die on there and um, I didn't do I just added a bunch of pin pictures other um, and then other than the edge die I did embossing just because of the glassine if you guys ever use a glassine uh, paper you get such a great embossing technique on here all I did was ink it up the edges and then went over the embossed with um, black soot and um, I left pretty much all these um, tags just open and then used a different embossing folder for each one. Just love the technique, so I had to like show it off there. And then these pockets, if I could figure that out. I'll tell you, there's like a couple different ways that you could open it up. But... So here we go. So I used one of his, um, I don't know, I think findings. And then again, his little fasteners for that. So, and then here you could see how I used the um, edge die on each of the pages. And then again, you, oh, I went through it already. So, you kind of get the idea there. And then you just use the vintage button, a little eyelet right here, and then just swings around the button. Okay, page, let me see, seven, eight. Page nine um, is Boys Will Be Boys. And then this page, you guys have to really look at these. This was an uh, industrial chick. They came three to um, to a little to her card, and I it's, I think it's usually three little charms that you get on one of her little packs. And then this was just a sticker that I picked up from who knows where. So I just punched a hole on some of these, and here's like a little car, a little bear, and a Domino's. Love her pieces, but um, it went so nice. Didn't even do much to this page other than the sticker, the charms, and then for the pages. Again, challenging myself to do different things for each page, you know, trying to fit in 10 plus pictures. This was taken, I pulled, um, I think Paper Phenomenon did this on one of her um, 
one of her 